Well, hello and welcome to AuthenticVoices.life. This is Chris Boys, your host. It is really good to have you with me. I have been looking forward to this interview. We're going to interview Evan Brent Downing later on. But first, we're just going to listen to his amazing signal that I want to play for you. That This song is called I've Been Waiting. It's from his Reflections album EP. And it's an amazing song. It's got some beautiful lyrics. It really resonates with my heart. The actual song itself is not a music video. It'll actually be played with the Authentic Voices logo just displayed as the music is sounding. It has got so, such an incredible uh, sound and lyrics. And what it actually says, you know, basically keep believing, keep trusting, keep dreaming. And, and it really resonates with me because I've had to keep believing. I've had to keep dreaming. I've had to keep trusting because uh, it's been a long, hard road. But, you know, I'm really excited that I can share this with you. I'm using my new system. It's called Restream. I'm finding it a lot easier to use. It's actually helping me pull a little, a lot of different elements together. Um, so this is the actual song by Evan Brent Downing from the Reflections EP album. It doesn't go for very long. I really hope that you'll listen to it and reflect on the lyrics that are in the song. It really is a beautiful song. I hope it's a blessing to you. So here it is, the Reflections song. I've been waiting from his Reflections album. I'll be back soon.
When we're back, and we have the man himself who wrote that incredible song, I've Been Waiting, and we have Evan Brent Downing with us. It's really good to have you with us. You're an amazing man of God, my friend. You're an artist. You're a recording artist. You're a really talented man. I've had the privilege of doing worship with you many times. Never miss a chance if I can get it, bro. Welcome to Authentic Voices, Evan. It's just so great to have you with us. Thanks, bro. Thanks for having me, man. It's been a long-awaited uh long awaited to do this eh? absolutely yeah well, i mean we've um i mean we've probably known each other worship t- together on a uh, regularly for about a year now so mm. this is something i've been really looking forward to so um just just to sort of kick off the interview a little bit for us bro i always like to say how did jesus's story become evan's story like just give us a little bit of a an intro if you like it doesn't have to be too lengthy or it can be it's totally up to you we don't have a lot of rules and restrictions on what people can share and how long but Tell us a little bit about Evan's story and how Jesus' story became Evan's story, bro. Oh, crikey. Um, Well, for me, it was, uh, you know, I've always had an individual relationship with him, I remember, even as a kid. Um, And there was a a time through my teen years and where that that time that you're very confused in in so many things and, you know, I'm just lucky for the people that have been around me to help direct me with um, the wisdom of the Holy Spirit. And I suppose for me, it's one of the biggest things is is always humbling and yielding yourself to, um, you know, say to God, God, I give you this, or you've done something that's, um, you know, not respectful or something like that and go and apologize and just, you know just just keep keeping yourself accountable and that's where god just keeps doing some amazing things yeah oh awesome man awesome yeah well i want to talk about your music because it really blesses me and um it's something that i really do enjoy listening to um i do wish enjoy worshiping god with your bro uh, um, but i really wanted to talk about your music so can you tell us a little bit i mean i know that maybe I'm not sure how long ago the album was recorded, but I mean, I, I think it's awesome. So can we just talk a little bit about your music, how that started, kind of how when you, I mean, you've obviously been, you know, someone who's interested in work music for a while, but just tell us a little bit about how that started for you. What was your journey when it became kind of obvious to you that you're not just good at playing a guitar, man, but you actually had a calling and a purpose on God to do something with it? Oh, um, <sighs> Crikey, it's a big, it's a big question. You know, you know, for me, um, you know, for me, it, it all started, it all started at the end of my bed. So worship and songwriting and playing my guitar it was my outlet. You know, worshiping God um, when I'm frustrated, even as a child, that's where I'd go and that's where I'd hide and just play my guitar for hours on the end of my bed until you know, mum started screaming and said come do your chores or something like that you know so um so for me that's where it started um i do believe that um for me it was uh, i remember saying to my mum um about 12 or 11 years old you know don't be surprised if i move away when i'm older mum because i'm going to go pursue my music you know wow. i'm going to go to america or i'm going to australia and because i'm originally from new zealand so um for me it's just been that that um holding on to a dream and holding on to a promise even when everyone around you is saying it ain't gonna happen so yeah that's probably a really good segue into the thing that i'm really really looking forward to talking to you about but um let's talk about reflections i mean the album itself when did that start for you when did you record that how long ago did that kind of happen for you evan uh, i think that was 17 2017. Wow. um well the songs themselves i've had for a while um and the different journeys of uh, parts of my life but the actual um album someone gave me a word from god at the start of 2017 and it was um you know god's gonna help you do your album and it got to about october 
and I was walking around the river and uh, I had a I had a grumpy with God and I says, you said, God, you said I was going to do this album. You know, we're at the end of the year. We, You said this. I'm holding you accountable to what you say. You know, and I was having a bit of a the and um and then the next day my one of my worship leaders turned around and said asked me out for coffee and lunch and said look i feel god just saying to help you start this album and raise some money um and i'm just like you did say god you know yeah um, so yeah that was the process for that one man and and uh you know even i didn't have the name for the album i didn't have i just had my music um and you know um i was member member at a camp and church camp and i was in the dunny in the toilets and i was like looking in the mirror and i just felt god say reflections so i was like yeah that's right that's, that's a good it's a good um it's a good name so I, I love the name man. i love the name i'm a person that's quite reflective and so it's you know i i hear you i hear you mm. um i i i played your album on radio uh, a little while ago obviously with your permission mm. and um it was a real joy and it was a real yeah. privilege for me bro uh, and and it really gave me a chance to just sort of just kind of really just enjoy the sound the message everything about it and all the our, all the songs on on the album are really really well put together uh very professional really good sound really good quality i'm not a muso but i can appreciate good sound when i hear it Thanks, man. And it's definitely good sound, and and this, the all the songs are really good. I like dancing in the rain and um, saffron love. I do I do jig along to that. I admit I get down, man, in my own studio when no one else is around. I really enjoy that song. But oh. the song that really really speaks to me, the song that kind of just captured my heart, bro, was um, I've been waiting, and I love the words to that song. I love what you're saying in that song, and the, and I think you know a little bit about my journey. I spent a long time fighting who i was not accepting who i was and you know that's why it's called authentic voices bro because it's part of my journey is accepting and embracing who i am and not fighting that anymore and i just um i love that song and every time i listen to it it, it touches me so much i find myself praying for you i find myself saying god open doors for this man because i know a little of your journey i know that you know you've just been so persistent and you've just been so amazing and you've just hung in there through so many obstacles man so I just wondered if I could hear from the author himself on the lyrics, the words. I mean, what 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 sort of what sort of how did it come about? I mean, it's just like a powerful song, bro. Well, it's funny because um, it came about at the start of it when I was just in the exploring stages. It was actually a song for my nephew, oh. um, who was just about being born, and I was really excited and. And I was going to be an uncle, and my brother was going to be a dad, and and that's so cool. that's what that's where you know I've been waiting and watching and hoping came from. Oh, and amazing. then I sort of never did anything with it. So for me, the actual journey of the song and the way it's written was it was in the process of writing it, if that makes any sense. So it wasn't so much I was going in with the idea of what's coming, what I'm aiming for, but it was more of the process when I was writing it or singing it or, you know, just um, being creative in it. That's when um, little snippets of who I am or what I see in someone else or, um, you know, because it's very a song that's, looking at someone else's life um mm -hmm. within you know within my eyes so you know um there's you know the line where you know and i've seen the heartache and the heartbreak and the tears you've cried um and and the battles that rage in your mind but i see a beauty that's as bright as the night sky mm -hmm. and from a distance the canvas comes to life you know we have an amazing ability not to see the giftings and the callings and our value in ourselves but yet we can see it in other people wow. um and uh that's what that's really just saying is i see the giftings in that person's life i see the i see i'm seeing you fight these areas in your life which i can now reflect on that i've really faced in my life as well so wow. um which you can only see if you've 
you've gone through it. So uh, for me, it was, um, yeah, it was great. Yeah, well, for me personally, I I just love the the sound, the song, and what it's saying, and it just speaks so loudly to me. You know, you don't mm. have to fight who you are; you can embrace who you are, and it goes to the core and the heart and and the vision of authentic voices, bro. Because I just want you know to encourage people, and I hope this, and I believe this this interview is going to be an encouragement to people to to believe in your sound. You know, to believe that you have a voice, and that God wants you to express that voice as a you know align with your purpose and your plan it may be recording albums and singing songs and being very talented like yourself it could be painting i've got a lot of people who paint could be writing a book it could just be going down the street and helping someone with some food bro That's being right. or just being authentic just just be just be who you are and uh that's the way it's meant to be man that's the absolutely. way it's meant to be absolutely but, um, you know I've, i'm not trying to be like anyone else in the music industry i really feel like it is important to be unique and it's important to be who god has created you to be because he's only created one of you you know you may look like someone down the track or yes you might have a kid who looks like you but they're not you like there's only one of you and there's you know you have a lot to give to the world so no one else can give what you've got so yeah and that and that's something that I remember one day we were sharing lunch together and I said that to you that you have such a unique sound and uh, because it comes from a place of being just totally authentic you're not trying to be something you're not you're not trying to be somebody else and mm. I, I get that you know artists and musicians you know in the in the recording industry obviously can be influenced and obviously can you know look at different people's styles and and stuff but that still doesn't mean that you're not unique you know you have your own unique sound and uh, just by just being who you are, man. And so um, I am really excited for you because I saw that you're actually going to be going on to a conference soon. I looked at it and I'm like, man, I've got to, I've got to get behind this guy. Can you tell us a little bit about the conference that you've got coming up? Tell us, um, you know, why, why was it important to you and, you know, how did that come about? Because I want to support you, bro, and I, I want to. I want to, That was one of the reasons why I was really keen to do this interview, mm -hmm. because um, I want people to meet Evan. I want people to, to get to know Evan Brent Downing and just say, "Look, hey, you know, let's see what we can do to help this guy." But um, tell us a little bit about the conference. Tell us a little bit about what it's for, and you know how it came about that you got involved. If you could, please, mate. Yeah, um, this conference is uh, evangelism. Um, activation sort of a thing so a lot of uh people that are very um walking in their gifting of evangelism um i'm not someone who is going out on the street and talking to people in the sense of on a purpose like if i'm sitting next to someone and you know i'll do it when i'm doing life but my music is an evangelism mm -hmm. you know um so um that's one of the reasons why i'm going is to equip myself in a better way in ways that i cannot see myself or see the flaws that i need to establish to you know um you know it's just a, it's just like tools in the belt mate you, you're just trying to um create another way to reach people in a different way you know um as i said this morning to you you know it's it's all about being authentic there you go you know be yourself uh, people you know when you're doing nothing and just doing life that's evangelism because people are watching yeah absolutely. you know it's like it's like what's what's worship well worship is waking up in the morning and doing life to the best of your ability as if you're doing it for jesus yeah you yeah. know that's 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 worship so uh, yeah and plus there's going to be some really um well-known people um and well-known musicians that are doing this in a in a capacity that um i'm not yet able to do sort of because i've gone a different way about it also living in perth it's very separated um so and these people are relational people so i'm going there to tr to create relationship and perhaps you know learn something that i've never been able to see or learn something that yeah just just as i said you know i'm just to be a student man 
I love the way that we talked about evangelism today, and you've already kind of touched on it a little bit. Um, and you and like you were saying to me that sometimes evangelism is just being who you are, being yourself. Just you know, people can see Jesus in you, and uh, that that already makes you something that maybe they haven't seen before. Maybe it shines a bit of light into their darkness. Maybe they just think there's something different about that Evan guy. I'm going to have a yarn to him, um, you know. And sometimes that's just all evangelism is, right? I mean, that's kind of like what you were sort of sharing with me today you said something else i want to come back to but i just just wonder if you could share your thoughts with us on on how you see evangelism and and why why you think it's not important to not always see it a certain way mm. well i think it comes back to being unique as a person in the sense of everyone has the opportunity to reach someone that someone else can't reach um evangelism is uh not going out to go find and salvations you know, salvation's um, is not for us to find. It's for Jesus's spirit to impart and actually work in them in their heart. Um, oh, but cool. our job is to spread the good news, and our job is to you know let them know that you know there is a God out there who loves them, who has created them, molded them, and has a purpose and a plan for their life. And so much so that they bankrupted heaven. He bankrupted Hendren just so that they can he can he can have a legal right to converse with them and say he loves them and give them that opportunity and you know to receive his love yeah um you know mm. there are people there are people um in our culture who sits sit at the back of their house with a you know carton of beer and and you know a pack of smokes and that's their life mm. mm-hmm you know, and they're smart people. So you have to, um, you know, it's not a fight for knowledge. It's a fight to the heart, you know. Um, You've got to be able to tap into the the heartstrings, man, because people's hearts are hardened, especially Mm. in Australia when you've got everything, but yet we miss out on so much happiness. Wow. because we've got everything you know yeah. um so I'm, i write a lot of music in the sense of um straight to the heart straight to the core hey this is how i'm feeling this is the stuff i've gone through this wow. is um the weaknesses i have and i have just cried out in my vulnerability and um and they grab hold of the vulnerability and they come up to you and go man that song really spoke to me Oh, really, bro? Let's go for coffee and have a chat about it, you know? Um, So that's that's realistically my attack on uh, evangelism. So, Absolutely. And one of the things we spoke about this morning, which really jumped out at me, and and that is that, you know, relationship, everything should flow from relationship, you know? Yeah. And, and, you know, because if it's authentic relationship, things will flow from that, you know? And I, I think probably some of the best things that have happened in my life, bro, in, in ministry have come from just being friends first. I wasn't even looking to try and do something with them. I was just, mm. I was just looking to hang out, get to know them, uh, you know, and, uh, and to use your language, when those heartstrings kind of connect, that kind of flows naturally from that, you know, and yeah. I love the way that you talk about like the people you're meeting with, it's more about relationship and because that's really what it should, should flow from, you know, I mean, people, People know when you're fed income, if I can use an Aussie term, if that's okay. People know when you're fed income in this country and uh, they, you know, people don't have a very good, well, so they shouldn't have a, a tolerance for, you know. Mm. Yes, so um, Australians are, are very much, as you said, hardened and um, maybe kind of, you know, been through experiences that have hardened them up a little bit. But, you know, people like friendship in this country. People, yeah. uh, you know, people respond well to, to mateship still. Yeah, which is thing, and that's something that I've seen this year and a pretty tough year is that there's been mates who've been there for each other, you know, and there's yeah. been mates who've helped each other out, even even over the airways, even online. There's been ways that that's kind of occurred, and I think that's amazing, man. I think that's awesome. Yeah. So, um, do you, do do you? Uh, I know you released a, a song recently on uh, Spotify, which I really enjoyed listening to, "Shimmers of You." Um, do you Shimmers plan of who you are? Shim- yeah, sorry, bro. I, I try to do my research. I got that one wrong. That's yeah. all right. That's all right. You know, I'll beat it out of you like next time. That's all right. 
<laughs> I, I just wanted, are, are there any more plans to do any more recordings? Are you looking to record any more albums? Um, what's on the radar for Evan in that area, mate? Look, um, I was asked this question today by someone else. Um, oh, okay. The... I don't think people can understand the finances. Yes, and, uh, um, yes, totally. And, and the uh, the amount of um, determination and hard work it actually takes to do this, especially yeah. by yourself. Um, wow. You know, and and realistically, it's, it is just me and God um, doing this journey. There are people behind me, absolutely, and I would never take away from you know, what they've put in my life and what they've put into, um, you know, the calling of what God's given me. But at the end of the day, um, you know, uh, the financial side is just, uh, it's just ridiculous. It's crazy. Um, you know, uh, so look, man, I've got enough, I've got enough new music to do an album. Um, that's not the issue. That's the, it's the um it's the recording it's the album work it's the flights it's the the accommodation and then you've got the releasing and then you know it's like 1200 bucks just to release one song on the radio wow you know? that's crazy you got 10 songs i did not know that yeah 1200 bucks and then you've got recording on top of that um so there when it's time to do it again god will provide um and I'm really hoping that it's coming up to that time soon. <laughs> <laughs> I am too. I am too. Because there's a there's a there's a power there's powerful there's a, there's for me it's when I release a song, I can put it down and let it go, mm -hmm. um, and then my creativity comes back. Not yeah. that it's not there. I can. I, I've I've got my my problem is not making up a song. It's my my problem is finishing the song. Right. But yep. um. But there's for me there's sort of like a there's a there's an empowerment that comes when a song is done, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. and I can step back and go, ah, thank you Jesus, mm. and I can hear and receive whatever I'm singing about, you know. Um, but yeah, all right. Oh, well, I probably I probably I do want to make mention of the fact in the recording that. Uh, Know that you are wanting to go to this conference and you know we do want to get behind evan we do want to get behind you evan so tell us how we can give mate tell us how we can contribute yeah um well realistically just just you know if if you feel the the, the inclination to you know pop me 20 bucks 50 bucks here and there um paypal me um you know if that's I don't really like asking for help. Um, and that's just me personally. Um, I'm the same. You know, and, uh, but, you know, it's something that I need to humble myself in um, because we can't do life by ourselves. That's right. Um, that's right. So that's the real reality behind it. So if you want to PayPal me at uh, Evan Brink Downing, um, you'll see my pretty face on pay PayPal and um hugging my guitar it's a pretty good looking photo i must say it is um, yeah. um but that that's definitely one way um you know everything that people are giving is going back into a ministry term mm -hmm. I'm, i don't go out and buy you know crap <laughs> if i may be straight up you know it's not from it's not for building my house or building my wealth or putting money in the bank it's you know i trust me i put all my money into what i do anyway so um yeah but it's definitely going into you know and if there's excess mate you know i can it gives me the opportunity to sow it into someone else as well we need to learn to take the gift and also pass it on so and that that's something that sharon and i really relate to and that's something that we do we we give we bless we minister yeah. you know and everything everything about what you do is a ministry and you are a voice and you are a voice into youth mate i mean that's something we really need a lot of is good positive youth voices and people who are just genuine and real and 
you know, and I, I just want to encourage you. Um, I'm going to put some links right underneath this particular video interview. Um, I'm going to, you know, we're going to, we're going to support you as a fellowship, you know, in whatever way that we can with money. I don't just mean we're going to pray and say all the best, um, Evan. We are actually going to sow into your ministry, bro. Well, and please I, still pray, though. Well, of course, but, you know. I, I, I still need your prayers, bro. Yeah, I know, bro. The big, the, the, the big man hears them. Yeah. Oh, look, every time I hear your song, I'm praying for you, bro, as I said before. I actually do. I actually yeah. find myself going, bless that man. You know, open that oh, door. I mean. that he's looking for you for is just, I don't know what it is. I just feel like I've got to say that when I hear it every time. Because uh, I know you're singing it for someone else, but I also feel that it's a reflection. That you didn't, I didn't do that on purpose. <laughs> it is a reflection of your journey, your heart, and, 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 yeah. and what you've sort of, you know, gone through and grown into. And it is a growing thing, you know. And Absolutely. What you said about it just being you and God, I completely relate to that. You know, there's yeah. times when I've walked through this journey and I've felt like giving up, but you know, God is faithful, amen. And He amen. does encourage us and He does put the right things, the right people across our path. And um, right. He is a good dad, He's a good father, He's a loving father. And and that's something that you know, that's something that people need to hear so badly these days, Evan. And it's definitely heard through your music, my friend. Oh, thank you. Oh, absolutely. It, it, it really ministers to my soul. Um, and I, like I said, I get down. I get down with some of the upbeat songs. I'm not ashamed to admit that. <laughs> I, uh, as long as I don't have to see it, I'm happy. <laughs> ah, all good, mate. All good. Look, I, I do realise that you've got a lot of demands on your time, and I do realise that you've got a lot of things that you're juggling. And I really want to say I really appreciate you squeezing me in today, mate. And That's really, right. really enjoy talking to you. And, and you know, I'm just going to, you know, wrap up the interview by saying um, that, you know. Please check out Evan Brent Downing on YouTube. He has a YouTube channel. There's there's songs available there for you to listen to. There's some awesome music videos too, which have been very well done, like Dancing in the Rain. That's one of the ones I get down to, yep. Uh, you could also find him on Spotify. I'm even going to put the, the uh, Spotify iTunes, song. iTunes. iTunes. And iTunes. They, iTunes pay money. Spotify doesn't really pay money. Yeah. yeah. But... iTunes. Forget Spotify. iTunes. <laughs> that stuff out. Yeah. Uh, and, and anything that we can, you know, get onto to help support this amazing man of God, let's get yeah. behind him. So um, I just want to say God bless you for listening. Thank you for listening. Thank you for being with me today, Evan. It's been it's been a real pleasure, mate, and a real a real blessing to you know just to have this yarn with you and this heart to heart. Um, I feel like it feels like it's been a long time coming, but I'm just glad we got there in the end, mate. Yeah, no worries. Well, hopefully the next time I see you, there'll be food on the table. I'll come down for the food, mate. Yeah, you better believe it, mate. I like come it. on. I know you Kiwis like your food, mate. And that, that is one of our ministries is feeding people well. My wife does a good job. so Awesome. Yeah, but, she does. I remember. I remember. Well, yeah. bro, thank you so much for having me. And, Absolutely. and uh, yeah, check me out, guys. If you've got um a church. Sorry, I'm getting messages now. Um, That's right. No if, uh, if if you got a church and yeah um you know you want you want something you know you want to bring in a guest of you know i'm happy to come in and play and and uh play some of my music do it do a couple of worship songs and uh interact with the young ones yeah you know the teenagers and stuff like that to you know encourage them and um but yeah that's where i feel like my calling is going at the moment is is just to um to reconnect into different parts of the the church but also reconnect into the world for evangelism so yeah well i could think of one fellowship that'll have you any day mate and uh thanks bro that's for sure um and if i and i and if i can ever help you in any way with the online stuff i would be so thrilled to do that um because there are people who i've connected with online it's just been amazing bro mm. so um you know, we'll just throw that open to the Lord, and if something comes together in that space, man, I'll, I'll be there. Don't worry about it, mate. I'll oh, awesome. help you out in the way that I can, mate. Yeah, All right, well, right. just want to say thanks again, bro. Uh, really enjoyed your time. Um, so I'm just going to wrap it up by saying we want to thank Evan. We want to thank Evan for his time. We want to thank Evan Ben Downing for being with AuthenticVoices.life. Thanks, bro. Thank you, bro. Bless you, man.